Good day Pinoy mixers and mixers. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we have a change of scenery for today. We are in Iloilo City for day four out of our five day trip. So yesterday we had a land tour of Guimaras. And we are here right now at the top of the hotel. Zuri Hotel which is very close to SM City Iloilo one of the malls here and you can see here there's a pool and the weather is sunny, cloudy and windy let's go and build a team okay so we're gonna take on the challenge and build a pure legacy team and I was supposed to shoot this in Iloilo but unfortunately I was too tired to do some team building uh, videos so I'm doing it in the comfort of my home here in Manila so as you know there's been a lot of legacy figures released in the in the recent sets and uh, we can see here a brief description of what legacy cards are. A legacy card corresponds with a Heroclix figure from a past Heroclix set release. If played using the legacy card, a legacy card character is considered modern legal with the set whose set symbol is shown on the, on the legacy card. If a legacy card for a character has different point values and or combat symbols than the dial for the figure, they use the point values combat dial symbols shown on the legacy card instead so basically it enables old figures to get a second life and become modern legal okay and for this team you can already see we only have four figures and we're going to build a brotherhood of mutants team team okay and the main um character would definitely be this guy Magneto the leader of the Brotherhood of Mutants and you can see uh, he is Legacy 053 Acolytes Brotherhood of Mutants Hellfire Club Quiet Council Utopia X-Men Ruler Keywords uh, and then a couple of traits here save from Charles Rich Safeguard Mind Control and Penetrating Psychic Blast and a second trait, Magnetic Field, Energy Shield Deflection, Sidestep, Regeneration, but only if Magneto occupies a square with a Debris token. Modify Magneto Combat Values by plus one if he is within four squares of a Debris token. And how does he make the Debris tokens? Well, you can always destroy a blocking and uh, he has the Special Attack Power, Master of Magnetism at the beginning of your turn. Magneto may destroy a square of blocking terrain within range, creating debris, as I said. And a special defense power, magnetic shield, invulnerability, willpower, opposing characters within range have their have their range, have value, have have their range value. Okay, so basically, uh, and he has a 10 range, so that means characters within 10 range has a uh, half uh range value okay so if you have six it becomes three and so on so you can see he is from the giant x-men set of 2011 and really great values although of course point wise he is 175 points so he will be the centerpiece of our team okay so i'm not gonna bring out the the figure okay i only was planning to show the legacy cards um, because when you travel, it's, it's a bit hard to bring Heroclix figures because they can be broken off easily. So I only bought uh, the brought the legacy cards in Iloilo uh, because they are, again, they doesn't consume a lot of space. I don't need to protect them as much. So that's why we have the cards. <laughs> And you can see legacy cards, especially the, the first versions are really, really shiny. I don't know what type of uh, foiling this is. Okay, so 
but this one is the foiling is different from this one this seems to be diagonal diagonally foiled whereas this one seems like a uh, vertical rainfall uh, foiling so we will have next destiny as our uh, character and you can see here Irene Adler has a couple of traits. I'm not here to fight. When Destiny is targeted with an attack, she may replace her defense value with the printed defense value of an adjacent friendly character that shares a keyword with her. Because she only has 13 defense. So, uh -huh. with my trusty crossbow, range, make a range attack with a range of 4 and attack value of 9 instead of normal damage. Deal one penetrating damage, okay, because he has, uh, she has zero uh, attack and zero damage. So, but again, nine and one is not gonna be uh, a lot. Also, you're we're putting her in the team primarily because of the twenty point uh, probability control. Okay, so he'll probably be just adjacent to Magneto to prob him or behind. Magneto just to make sure that he survives and uh, she also in turn would survive. Okay, so the next one we're going to include is the Scarlet Witch, which is uh, one the Maximov and one trait. Uh, get away from my family facing teleport when Scarlet Witch uses it after resolutions. She may use Force Blast as free, which is awesome because she has 10 range, so she can do that Force Blast. Uh, within 10 okay but we're also getting her primarily for the prob so she can stay really at the back as she has stealth just hide out in the back and then prob and possibly force blast enemies okay and the last one is going to be unus the untouchable okay i like this kind of legacy wherein you can see the character is going beyond the circles the older ones the characters are just within the circles okay so this one uh shows uh zoned out view this one's a bit close up so this one a little bit more dynamic because it's it's again over the circle so angelo onuskion has a special defense power, which is expandable psionic field, impervious super senses once per action, when an opposing character would move or be placed into a square within instant touchable range, they must roll a d6. Ah, oh, sorry for that. <laughs> okay, It's 10.30 almost here in the Philippines, 10.30 in the evening. So again, uh, Roll a d6, and on a roll of 1 to 3, the character can't move or be placed into any square within Unus, the untouchables, range this turn. And he has the special damage power, which is knockback. So we're putting him here as a support piece with the TK uh, to TK Magneto up. And then Magneto can probably uh, attack. Okay, and then just to prevent... Uh, people from getting close to Magneto, uh, ha at least having that chance on a roll of 1 to 3, then again, uh, we will be uh, mostly keeping our team tight. Okay, Magneto would probably be uh, together with Unas because of the TK, and then we have two uh, witches, robbers at the back. Okay, so that's the team. Uh, let's see the total value 175 plus 50 that's 225 and then we have 20 uh, that brings us to 245 and we have uh, 35 point uh -huh, which is to, which makes us total 270. 70 280 280 rather okay so and at 280 points then we can uh, use that to go for equipments okay so for magneto perhaps we can equip him with a shield 
okay or uh, I don't know something that grants uh, additional damage perhaps uh, utility belt okay and then for Unus the untouchable probably uh, what you call this an emotional modifier okay so just in case they're able to get close uh, even meaning you rolled not one to three so they can they're able to be to move and be placed uh, adjacent to you so that means the emotional modifier can do his trick of decreasing the attack value of anyone within four for example okay so again that's my team um what do you think okay who how will you improve the team and legacy cards the best thing that happened to hero clicks uh in the long for the longest time okay uh i like it that uh, it rewards collectors although uh, it also makes it harder for uh collectors to get some of the figures because nobody's nobody now is uh, selling famous sculpts or famous characters because of the chance for legacy cards well that's a discussion for another video for now bye bye